Weekly World 13, guys. Here we have it, our first assembled scoop pair. Okay, guys, lots going on this week. Scoops being welded, gears being tapped. It's been crazy. Uh, counterbores, welding, all kinds of stuff. And I want to apologize for the loud noise in our shop because that noise is we had to buy four different 24 inch fans and put them in our shop or three 24 inch fans to put them in our shop just to try and keep cool and we're probably going to get another one or two as the summer rolls on it's just unbearable in there without fans going so i'll do my best to work around the loud fan noise and deliver good content for you but I do want to ask for your grace and your forgiveness with uh, audio in those cases. Yes, I know we can wear lapel mics, but you know when you're greasy and you're dirty and you're trying to run around and just at least think about getting video, the last thing on your mind is, oh, I want to go and hook up a lapel mic and put it on me for this little shot. So again, sorry in advance for any bad audio. We'll do our best to work around it. What you're seeing here is just the counter boring operations that were being done on the scoop support plates and um, we were putting those into, we have eight of those scoop support plates, we're only going to need to use six of them but two extra and it was a nice little, really the first CNC routine being done for the prototypes, for the one kilowatt prototype. So here it is in fast motion where I was doing a couple plates at a time and just showing you how as you're able to do other things each cycle, it's going through and machining out what you need once you get the program locked in. Josh is tapping the one half 13 holes here in these shots and I'm working in the background still on making more plates. So we're running around like chickens with our head cut, heads cut off there. This is our furling tube. It's being cut down from a 24 foot length to the size that's just over 100 inches right now so that we can work with it manipulate it, get it where we need to, and start mounting our scoops onto the scoop array. This is a vital component. And one of the things that I'd like to point out here, guys, is that we've taken a lot of heat on social media, not from our investors. Our investors have been wonderfully understanding and they get the vision. They understand where we're going with this. But we've taken a lot of heat on social media from people saying, why are you wasting time building out this shop? Your investors purchased uh, shares in, in a wind turbine company, not in a machine shop. Well, guys, when you think about it, we have the ability now to go directly from prototype into low volume production. And I would absolutely argue that this was the far better use of funds to build this shop out because now if we need to tweak components, if we need to adjust something, even in the prototype stage, we're able to do that immediately right here in our shop right there for the cost of materials without farming things out and depleting all our funds, getting a new part cut or a new set of parts cut because we messed something up. We can do it right here for the cost of materials. And that's invaluable when you think about it. People need to remember that when they look at what we have achieved in such a short amount of time here. Just a little montage of some of the things we've been doing here over the past week. Extremely busy working on all different pieces and parts to put the one kilowatt prototype together for you. We'll buy jam nuts going forward, but for now, this is a quick way to make them. Even the jam nuts are going to be too much. We're still probably going to have to do this. Just probably more economical to use normal nuts anyway. Yeah. Because jam nuts are expensive. <laughs> you need a face shield now. Apparently. We just put a piece of plexi up there. Now, if you listen carefully here, you might even hear us tuning in to the aliens. Yes, folks, we actually have aliens here working in our shop at Harmony Turbine Headquarters.
Or at least that's what people tell us when they stop by. It is working. We should be able to cut keyways with it. Oh, the button is stuck. Oh. Get stay on the e stop. There you okay. Go. Good. Cool. The uh, the Isle Gang was stuck. <laughs> it's in German. Just doing a little extra reaming on the inside diameter of the furling gears because they don't quite fit onto the furling shaft at this point. So opening them up a few thousandths so that they fit perfectly. Little uh, flashback from my past, my friend Joe from back in high school, 31 years since the two of us had seen each other since senior week in high school. That was the last we saw each other and he stopped by the shop today so it was pretty cool to get a chance to reconnect with him. Here I'm just broaching the furling gears so that they can lock in on the furling shaft and we'll probably refine this process and make it a lot better going forward but for now it works and it gets the job done, especially to get the prototype completed. This is the assembly of our first scoop pair on the scoop array, and it really went together quite well, better than I had hoped. It uh, we don't have the keyways in there yet, but it really we're gonna try um, to see if we can modify this routine and make it even easier to assemble as we go forward. It's always good to find more efficient ways to do things, but this went together so well it was unbelievable and it worked perfectly, exactly as it should. So it was a testament to how well things were put together and machined. Josh is even celebrating with his little victory dance on his walk back to the kitchen. It didn't go together too bad after we now I had to figure a few things out. Still figuring stuff out, but uh yeah of course we're getting there. But here's how it furls. We don't even have keyways in here yet. That's why it's slipping because there's no. There you go. There we go. There you go. So because there's no keyways, it's the uh, smaller gear is spinning on the cap. Okay. So yeah, the machine. There you go. But anyway, you get the idea, guys. So, it's coming together. We've made some fantastic progress here over this week. Yeah, we started week. work on Thursday last week, so yeah. we've been working six, six working days. Um, and we've got all of the gearing done, all of the scoops built, the gears on, all of the supports, everything. Um, now it's just starting to, we have to cut the keyways in and start assembling the array. So. Stay tuned, it's going to be fun. We have the um, horizontal uh, mill ready to go. Got that working yesterday. Start putting some water and uh, running the cleaner through the uh, pump. Yep. And uh, we yep. got that going. Then we got the, uh, was it 516? Yeah, um, the keyway stuff. Keyway stuff uh, ready to go. So the horizontal mill is what we're going to be using to cut the keyways in into the shaft. So basically, we're all ready to go with our. You know, with the machine that's going to cut those in. Yeah. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for supporting us and following our journey here, what we're doing, and how we're trying to make the world a better place. So we really do uh, have the power to change the world yes, we if do. we all work together. So that being said, yeah. thank you guys, and see you next in the next world. Harmony Turbines. We now have the power to change the world. Maybe. I don't know. What? You don't know if you're videoing? I am recording. Oh. <laughs> Freaking never had a chip hit me in the face like that. It almost went in my mouth. It's like riding a motorcycle. You have to keep your mouth shut. <laughs>